Assalamu alaikum dear students. Hope you all are good. Okay dear students. Today we are going to start our lesson number 8 from our new chapter, chapter number 3, Life in Desert and Forest Regions. Today our topics are desert, type of deserts, climate of desert, land of desert, vegetation of desert, animal and people of desert. Learning outcomes. First one is, you can easily define the desert. Second one, you can explain the types of deserts and their formation. Third one is, you can easily explain the life cycle of desert people, vegetation, climate, land and animal. Our first topic is, what is a desert? A desert is a landscape form or region that receives very little rainfall. Generally, deserts are defined as areas that receive an average annual rainfall of less than 250 mm or 10 inches. Dear students, do you know, most of deserts are in western parts of the continents. There are many hot and cold deserts in the world. Dear students, do you know which continent has no deserts? Antarctica being the largest desert in the world. Also, most of the deserts in Europe are classed as semi-deserts or Europe none as the only continent without deserts. Types of deserts the four basic desert types are the hot and dry or subtropical desert, the continental desert, the coastal desert, and the cold or a polar desert. Hot and dry deserts are well hot and dry. Various kinds of deserts experience very hot weather. But this type gets it all year. Cold winter deserts have long, arid summer and a small amount of rainfall in the winter. Coastal deserts have cool winter but warm summer. Polar deserts are cold year around. Polar deserts Polar deserts are area with annual precipitation less than 250 mm and a mean temperature during the warmest month of less than 10 degrees Celsius. The polar deserts are at the two poles, the Arctic and the Antarctic. How polar deserts form? Temperature changes in polar deserts frequently cross the freezing point of water. This freeze-thaw alternation forms pattern texture on the ground as much as 5 m or 16 feet in diameter as seen in the picture. Most of the interior of Antarctica is polar desert despite the thick ice cover. Examples of polar deserts The two largest deserts on Earth are in the polar area. The Antarctic polar desert covers the continent of Antarctica and has a size of about 5.5 million square miles. The second largest desert is the Arctic Polar Desert. It extends over parts of Alaska, Canada, Greenland, Iceland, Norway, Sweden, Finland, and Russia. Second one is subtropical deserts. A subtropical desert is a type of ecosystem or biome that is characterized by high temperatures, very low rainfall, and warm soil. These are close to tropics north and south of the equator. How form the subtropical deserts? Subtropical deserts are formed by the circulation pattern of air masses. Hot, moist air rises into the atmosphere near the equator. As the air rises, it cools and drops its moisture as heavy tropical rains. The resulting cooler, drier air mass move away from the equator. Example of subtropical deserts The Mojave Desert, Sonoran Desert, 
the Arabian Desert, the Sahara Desert, and the Great Victoria Desert are the example of subtropical deserts. Third type is continental desert. Continental deserts occur in the center of large continents. As inland winds travel from the sea over land, they lose moisture in the form of rain. And by the time they reach the center of a large continent, they are very dry. You can see in the picture. Students, do you know how form continental deserts? When the air moves over the mountain top and begins to begins to the descent the leafward slopes. There is little moisture left. The descending air warms up, making it difficult for clouds to form. Interior deserts which are found in the heart of continents exist because no moisture laden winds reach them. Dear students, you can see in the picture which is given below. Examples of continental deserts, the Gobi Desert and the Stelud in Iran are the best example of continental deserts. You can see Gobi Desert in a picture which is given below. Coastal deserts. Coastal deserts generally are found on the western edges of continents near the tropics of Cancer and Capricorn. How form coastal deserts? Cold ocean currents contribute to the formation of coastal deserts. Air blowing towards shore, chilled by the contact with cold water, produces a layer of fog. This heavy fog drifts onto land. Although humidity is high, the atmospheric changes that normally cause rainfall are not present. Example of coastal desert. Coastal deserts include the Nabib Desert in southern West Africa and Atacama Desert in Chile. The Nabib Desert average less than 12 mm of rain each year. Most important example of coastal desert is Atacama Desert. The Atacama of South America is the Earth's driest desert. In the Atacama, measurable rainfall 1 mm or more of rain may occur as infrequently as once every 5 to 20 years. You can see at Kama Desert in the picture which is given below. Our next topic is climate of desert. The climate is very dry with less than 250 mm of rainfall a year. Hot deserts have two distinct seasons, summers, when the temperature ranges between 35 to 40 degree and winter when the temperature ranges between 20 to 30 degrees celsius. Our next topic is land of desert. Desert land is dry and rough, mostly rocky and sandy with less vegetation and water. Vegetation of desert. In some deserts, plants have unique leaves to capture sunlight for photosynthesis, the process plants use to make food. Desert plants typically have tiny, waxy leaves. Cactuses have no leaves at all. They produce food in their green stems. Some desert plants, such as cactuses, have shallow, wide spreading root system. The plants soak up water quickly and store in their cells. Example of vegetation of desert. Thorny shrubs, cactus is the most common type of plant or shrubs found in nearly all the deserts of the world. People of desert. About 1 billion people live in deserts. Many of these people rely on centuries old customs to make their lives as comfortable as possible. Civilizations throughout the Middle East and Maghreb have adopted their clothing to the hot, dry conditions of Sahara and Arabian deserts. 
Clothing is versatile and based on robes made of rectangles of fabric. Long sleeve, full length and often wide, these robes shield. Desert dwellers have also adopted their shelters for the unique climate. The ancient people of the southwestern United States and northern Mexico constructed huge apartment complexes in the rocky cliffs of the Sonoran Desert. The need to find food and water has led many desert civilizations to become nomadic. Nomadic cultures are those that don't have permanent settlements. Nomads move frequently so their flocks of sheep and goats will have water and grazing lines. The most notable desert resource in the world is the massive oil reserves. In the Arabian Desert of the Middle East, more than half of the poor oil reserves in the world lie beneath the sands of the Arabian Desert, mostly in Saudi Arabia. Dear students, do you know why is the population low in desert? Because there is no water is available and hence people could get dehydrated. The land is not fertile to grow crops, which means no agriculture and no food. The climate is harsh, hot and dry. So that's why population of desert is low. Animals of desert Large mammals are uncommon in deserts because most of them cannot store sufficient water and tolerate the heat. Camels are a notable exception. While smaller animals might be able to find patches of shade sufficient to cover their bodies, deserts typically offer little protection from the sun for larger animals. Insect and jackrabbits are seen during the day staying in shadow as much as possible. Many animals seek protection in burrows underground where they are insulated from the hot, dry air. These include kangaroo, rats, rabbits, some insects, birds and reptiles. Okay dear students, today our home task is question number 1, 2, 3 and 4. Question number 1 is what are continental deserts? How are they formed? Answer is, continental deserts are in the middle of the continent. They get no rain clouds. For example, Gobi Desert in Mongolia and the Great Assyrian Desert. Question number two, why is the population of desert region so low? Answer is, deserts are hot, dry places with a harsh climate. There is little or no vegetation. Very little water, poor soil, no farming and no food crops. There are no settlements and no development. Hence, the population is very low. Mostly nomadic tribes live in these areas. Question number three is, what sort of vegetation would you find in a desert? Answer is, desert plants are spiny and have thicky, fleshy stems that store water. For example, cactus. Question number four is, how has Saudi Arabia become rich country? Answer is, Saudi Arabia has large reserves of oil underground. The government sells the oil and uses the money for the development of the country. Okay, dear students, let's start our work page, page number 23. Part A, find the words in dictionary, write the sentences to explain each word. First one is Bedouin. Bedouin is the name of nomads of the Arabian Desert. Second one is Sirocco. Sirocco is the name for the hot, dry, dusty wind that blows through the Mediterranean region. Third one is Wadi. A wadi is a dry river bed in Middle Eastern desert. It means valley. Fourth one, a nomad. 
A nomad is a person who does not live in one place and is constantly on the move. Fifth one is cactus. A cactus is a fleshy plant usually with prickles found in a hot, dry climate. Our next part is B part. Write the words below in the appropriate column. Answer. The given chart is the answer. You can take help from this chart. Guidelines for parents. All the main points discussed in the lecture. Make sure students listen that lecture carefully. Question number 1, 2, 3 and 4 discussed in the lecture. So after your child to do question number 1, 2, 3 and 4. Make sure that spelling should be correct while writing answer. Make sure your child learn the home task on daily basis. Thank you.